Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. And hi again, Pyro. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Hopefully well. I have some build updates to talk about, so I'm excited. Nice. New game's always fun. Not a puzzle person, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I feel like there was a new game for me that I got, and I can't remember what it is. Or if it even existed. Oh, I do have a, a quote-unquote new game that I'm going to be playing. Uh, it's going to be another month till I actually play it, though. So, Seven Days to Die is releasing, finally, from Early Access after 13 years. Or, 11 years? It's been well over a decade, let's put it that way. That's going to be coming up in the next month or so. And I'm very, very excited, because they have a release roadmap and everything, and they have a lot of cool updates coming to the game. Hopefully it'll bring some actual interest back to the game, and when I play it, the streams won't tank my channel as badly as they did last time. Though, I also was much worse at streaming back then, so... Yeah. I'll likely split my, uh... My time in the streams between different games. Also, speaking of game updates, Pal World is getting four new pals. I'm very, very excited for that. There's a Forg, so I know someone in particular will be happy. There is a Peacock, a... Hawk. Well, I mean, okay, it, it's it's a long, wiggly, noodle-like reptile with a mushroom on its head. So, I don't know how else you'd want to describe it. It looks like a penis, but it also looks very cute, and I want one. And then there's, like, some martial artist-esque creature, I think. Anyway, they'll look really cool. So I look forward to that. As you all know, I love Pal World Death, so. Haven't been able to get back into it and like try the raids and stuff yet either, so I look forward to doing that. Unfortunately, Pal World doesn't really do good on my channel, so I don't know how much I'll be playing it on stream, but yeah. And by doesn't do good, I mean, like, I bring in, like, 5% of the audience I usually would. So it's kind of dissuades me from wanting to stream it. Just a tiny bit. So, I have updated the build. Path of Exile build. No, it's not that. So I've made some changes to how the build works. I have put them all in the Path of Building file. I believe if you type slash build, it sends you to the YouTube video. Yep, and the YouTube video is... not updated with the newest POV. Damn it.
Well, now that's not good. Okay, it's updated now. Not a whole lot has actually changed in how it builds. It's more of just that I've... I've reorganized the buy list for it, mainly. Okay, here, I'll, I'll summarize the changes that I've made to the to the build. So, I've mainly... I've changed out the amulet from a Marlene's Fallacy to a Yoke of Suffering, which is a tiny bit better. I swapped out the Anointment from Heart of Flame to Savagery, which is a tiny bit better, and has some extra synergies. It also gives us a bunch of extra resistances. Uh, we still have a... Uh, we have one rare ring and, and one rare belt in the build. Uh... As you might have noticed, I have picked up a headhunter. Uh, this can fit into the build, and it is very nice, but the build is actually designed to have a uh, rare belt instead, which technically is a little bit better health-wise. Uh, I picked up the headhunter because there are only six div right now. Or actually, let me just check how much how much are headhunters right now. Oh, oh god, they've dropped. They're they're like five and a half div now. Anyways, I picked one up because they're fun. But we still have roughly the exact same setup as there was at the end before. It's just that I moved the Polaric Devastation to the Uber Gear section from the Advanced section. Because the 5 Chaos that it was last League is no more, and now it is 6 Div. I mean, let me just give you a live, a live total of how much it costs. It is down to three and a half div, apparently. So, still pretty expensive. But I moved it to the uh, to the Uber gear here so that it's a bit more manageable because I want the advanced tier to be only a few hundred chaos investment to upgrade to. And then the Uber gear tier to be the extra, extra, extra bonus. I picked up a really... Really nice ring, though, and I paid to get the resistance modifiers with the prismatic catalyst for, which is really nice. I also swapped. I also made a change specifically, where I've added the fire and cold damage prefix onto it. So the fire damage doesn't really do anything. I'll be honest. It's adds like the tiniest, tiniest damage increase, and the same with the cold damage. The thing is, though, because you now deal cold damage, your crit, if you crit, you have a 100% chance to freeze with your attack. And every attack throws five mines, which shoots 20 projectiles. So you have 20 chances to crit, and, tw and 20 chances to freeze. And my non-freeze chance is pretty low, but it works out to be about... Where is it? Works out to be about a 56% chance to freeze. Uh, just including the crits. So, you are likely to have 11 of 20 freezing hits. Or 12 of 20 freezing hits. So, it is pretty damn good. It gives a huge, huge layer of defenses being able to freeze things. It's a very big deal. I was going to go cold lightning because or go lightning cold instead of fire cold uh, to get shock, but the yoke of suffering gives your elemental damage and shock, so there is no point doing that. So I just picked fire because it synergizes with the build. 
Also picked up some more Chaos Resistance on it, a lot more life, a lot more just random attributes. So, despite the fact that I took all the attributes off of the off of the belt to put a headhunter in, I'm still over 100, 110 for every single resistance. Every single element of resistance. The uh, Chaos Res still sucks, and I have to fix that. But, but I'm getting there. But anything else? Oh yeah, I added quality to pretty much everything that could take quality in a reasonable fashion. Still want to pick up a level 21 uh, Pyro Class Mine to get, so tw uh, get a 2620. That'd be fucking awesome. That's exciting. I don't think I've changed really anything else. Built. Oh, yes I did. Yes, I did. So, when I swapped out the Marlene's Fallacy for a Yoke of Suffering, the change that, uh, that caused a particular change where I no longer have Culling Strike. So, as a way to remedy this, and I haven't set it up on, on the build itself yet, uh, I dumped Righteous Fire because, I'll be honest, I, I never use Righteous Fire. It's so risky eating 60% of your life every time you want to have a spell damage boost. So I just don't do it. Like, I, I never, I never want to risk it, so I never use it. So there's no point actually having it. The what I've decided to do to uh, replace that is... I'm going to be replacing it with a Vol Blade Vortex. Level or uh, level one, and a and a culling strike level one support. So basically, since Vol Blade Vortex is a skill that once you cast it, it seeks out things. It will seek out the thing and continue to attack it for a duration. Uh, that duration being, let's see, how long is it? Duration base duration is five seconds. So for five seconds, it will sit on top of something. Hitting it, like, with a number of very small hits that do almost no damage. But if it's about to reach 10%, you can pop Vol Blade Vortex, and it'll just sit on it, and then you you pop push it below 10% and immediately kills it. So, it's a very efficient way to do it, and it doesn't require you to be casting anything, or doing a skill shot, or anything like that. It just targets away. Which also can be a problem if it decides to go after something else you don't want it to go after. But generally, when you're fighting a boss so that Culling Strike actually matters with, it's just the boss there. Or it's a small arena. Like Cirrus, just Cirrus. Exarch, just Exarch. Eater of Worlds. Uh... At Arena, usually, there's no one else, because you just kill all the random, like, little random minions. I think I said Cirrus. Um, Shaper, there's just the Shaper. It won't go after the uh, undamageable ones. Even the Elder, like, has just a small enough Arena that even if it doesn't go after something, after the Elder itself, it's still fine. So, if you're doing Uber Elder, it might have trouble picking between the Uber uh, Shaper and Uber Elder. So, who knows. But generally, that's going to be my fix for dealing with the change. And I think it's going to be worth it. Okay, so that's all the updates that we have done to the build. You can still check out uh, the original build guide, and I'm just going to have this as a special update video. On the original build guide, I have updated the path of building, so you'll be able to see the actual correct explanation uh, if you just load up the path of building anyways. Generally, the same build pathing is set up, so nothing's really going to change. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way... We are able to activate our stuff and able to move forwards. So, I have a plan where we're going to replace Soul of the Brian King 
And we're gonna pick up two more jet or jewel slots in our pass or in our Atlas passive tree over the next like few levels as we level up to a hundred. And we're gonna pick two uh, uh chance or uh, a chance to avoid freeze jewels, about forty percent ish each. That'll bring us up to 80% chance to avoid freeze, and then we're going to swap out the avoid poison on here to avoid uh, elemental ailments at 20%. Once we've done that, we can swap out Brian King to Solar Solaris, which is going to give us another level of protection. Okay. Where are we going? Wait, where are we on? We're on Rislotha. Okay, that's where we want to be. I always want to have my life flask up. Although I did get a level, a 30% quality life flask with like the right apexes and stuff too, which is. The 30% quality life and mana flasks cost basically nothing. They, like every single league, it feels like they cost nothing. Oh, I also got a Redeemer map from. Uh, uh, the Curex Vault, so we have that to run. Speaking of which... Eh. No. <laughs> uh, it contains two unique bosses. I wonder if that works on the Redeemer. No, stop giving unique boss buffs. I don't want that on the Redeemer. Okay, elemental weakness is fine. Unique bosses are possessed. No! No, I don't want possessed Rezimer. That's That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can deal with that. That's not a big deal. Now, do we want to corrupt it and take the risk that it fucks everything up? Please don't fuck everything up. Hexproof and enfeeble. Ugh. Monsters take reduced crit strikes? No! Okay, well, at least the quantity went up from 69 to 130%. So, uh, this is gonna be fun. This will also be our first tier 16 of the league. Okay, let's add some stuff to help us, though. Okay, we're definitely going to add uh, a Nico to make sure that we definitely do get a Nico. Another buffs that I want to add. Friend buffs also grant 30% increased spirit in experience gain. You know what, I'm gonna grab... Uh, I'm gonna grab two Domination Scarabs and a Sulfite Scarab. So we have Nico for Sulfite Intoxication and hopefully a Shrine to deal with uh, Eritania. Oh. And I'll add some more to it. I just need to not buff the boss. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I don't really see much of a thing to do here. Modifier tier is not really. Ooh, that's actually much better. So that, that does make the map more dangerous, but we have a much higher chance of finding uh, embers. Like.
Oh my gosh, them having increased accuracy is not good. Because that's the direct counter to evasion. Evasion build. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna be a pretty awful map in general. So I'm gonna have to be pretty careful. Okay, guess what we're not doing? We are not going to hit the delirium. Okay. That's a wee tiny bit of lag. Just because there's so much shit in the map? Must be. Okay, good. Fuck. Self intoxication. Who is that? This. Ow. Okay, I am feeling the enfeeble. Very and divin. Oh, I want Vicious to have better, better stuff. Seeing as he's divination. Or sure. might as well improve. Okay, let's be a bit careful here. Okay. Lots of shrine modifiers. Two brutal shrines, a resistance shrine, and I don't even know what the hell else. Uh, Cartography Scarab, sure. Just stacking shrines on top of shrines on top of shrines. Uh, my castman's done just re-leveling, because I down-leveled it. Or I'm re-leveling it, I should say. Nation cards that reward unique jewels. I mean, it's probably not going to reward anything, but there's a lot of very valuable unique jewelry in this game, so... If I'm going to pick something, it's certainly worth it. Hey. Prismatic jewel. Prismatic jewel. Prismatic ring. Add that. Okay. Remnant. I have a diamond shrine here. Oh, wait. I should. Careful. Not just rush into everything. Penetrable shrine there. Okay. Not going to take either. I am going to come back and get them right before I do Titania. They're pretty good for our first tier 16, though. No issues yet. The assassins were a bit scary, but, I mean, I can handle that. And then we have two more syndicate encounters to deal with.
this build shouldn't be having any issues, so with uh, Veritania, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. I think that's going to come down to how well I play, less than the build. Oh, no, you don't. Stop spawning your syndicate goons. Giannis. Sure, trusted. Down here yet? Sulfite intoxication? Last sulfite intoxication. Okay. Can you... Can you force four sulfite veins in a map? That would boost sulfide intoxication a lot. We're just about at the boss. Okay, hey, let's see. Yeah. yeah. Stop that. Oh my gosh. OBS is not liking me today. There we go. Had to have an argument with OBS. Everything's fine now. <laughs> nope. No. I'm jumping on me. The butt face of jumping on me. Maybe I'm overprepared vastly for this. I'm starting to think I overprepared vastly. Oh, yeah, everything is uh, X proof, I forgot. Oh, Lair of the Hydra. That's convenient. Okay. Hello, Noel Martin 4. Welcome to the stream. Just off to kill Veritania. Right, where did I leave the diamond? Okay, I'm going to the diamond shrine. Okay, impenetrable shrine. Diamond shrine. Gravekeeper's Blessing, and whatever the fuck that is. And... and... Okay. Mount Veritania before my buffs go away. Wait, Gravekeeper's Blessing is absolutely worthless against Veritania in a boss arena that has no corpses. Oh no. And even in a fight where I were dealing with Enfeeble and the boss is hexproof, and we still don't have our exposure, and we don't even have Culling Strike anymore, 
There goes Veritania. <laughs> that, that was nothing. Stacking all those buffs like that had no point. Just leveling. What's up with you? Okay, we're gonna go back to the start and activate the delirium. Really didn't want to fight a hexproof Eritania with frenzy charges when I was enfeebled in delirium. Oh, wrong way. I don't know if that's a super crazy concept. But I really didn't want to do that. There we go. See if we can make good use of the 130% qualm. Oh, my inventory's full? My inventory's full. Oh, shoot. Um, Actually, I don't really need to worry about my buffs or anything. I can just go back and drop stuff off. Oh my gosh, we got so many maps. A bunch of tier 15s. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's that was really good. We got two tier 14s we didn't have and tier, two tier 15s we didn't have. We beat a tier 16 we didn't have, and we got a Lair of the Hydra, which we also do not have. Stream's going great today. Thank you for asking. Why is the Ephemeral Blade listed as, like, super valuable? Oh, wait, that has a... That has a really strong uh, energy blade-esque thing going on. Have ephemeral blades gone up in value? Oh, looks like they have. Yeah, they're about 8C for this. I mean, that's nearly a 50% increase to maximum energy shield. That's pretty good. away because I don't actually care. And the resistance ones are worth like D ish maybe. All that crap in there. Lot stuff away. We'll deal with it later. An idea for my channel? Uh, is this relating to one of the videos I put up, or do you mean for the stream? I mean, I'm certainly open to hearing things. I won't promise that I'll do whatever it is, but... If it is an idea that interests me, I will consider it. No, thank you. If it's something that has to be done behind closed doors, then I want no part in it. Usually that's people wanting to sell some sort of botting service as something that's illegal or breaches Twitch's terms of service, so no, thank you. In fact, if anyone's watching who wants to offer me those services, 
please just don't come into my stream. I follow Twitch's TOS. It's very simple. Okay, so all we have left is one Immortal Syndicate. No, 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 no! Why was I locked in place? An ancient orb at some point. <laughs> I was so excited for a second. Okay, we clear enough that I can, yeah, I can activate. Also, how are you going to make a suggestion about my channel if you've just come here for the first time? That's a bit suspicious. Of course, when you start questioning these people, they immediately disappear. Uh, mods, can you ban that person? Or mod? Don't advertise in my Discord. There is rules against it. And pretending you're not advertising does not help your situation. Thank you, Pyro. Yeah, but a word to any any other Twitch streamers who might watch. Don't ever fall for the people who are like, oh, if you just give us a tiny bit of money, we can totally help you. We have all these bot follower accounts. No. Besides the fact that that's stupid, because you're definitely going to get banned off Twitch for breaching the TOS... There is the other issue of uh, Twitch's system is specifically set up to prevent that, which is why having a specific amount of followers doesn't really matter, because it, the only thing they really care about is how many concurrent viewers you have, how, and how often you have them, and for what length you have them. So your actual follower count means nothing. Beyond, beyond the first 50 followers, I should. Ooh, safe house, nice. The first 50 followers do matter just because you can get uh, uh, Adel Hubby to affiliate, but you want to build those up naturally as well because otherwise you won't have enough concurrent viewers to become affiliate. So it'll just be a waste of time. The sort, those things are very predatory. They try to prey on people. Are feeling frustrated with their progress. With not being able to reach very many people. People who take advantage of other people's emotional states are disgusting. Any case, though, we have much more important things to do. We have a new safe house. Oh. 
Okay, so this will give us 48 mastermind experience. So we need, uh, once we finish this and then proc the, inter the intervention safe house, we will be able to do another Katarina. I actually did a Katarina off stream the other day. And wouldn't you know it, I got another Veiled Chaos Orb, <laughs> like, the, like the very uh, first one that we did. And the Veiled Chaos Orbs have gone up to 12 div now. So that's how I was able to buy, like, the Polaric Devastation and all the upgrades to the build, all the, qual all the gem cutters to quality things, all the uh, catalysts, all that. Which is why I farm June. Specifically for Katarina. Right now. I mean, you do get some nice stuff occasionally from the safe houses, and the XP from the safe houses is actually pretty good if you're doing just high tier maps, because, like, this is a tier 16 map, seeing as the, uh, the last map that we did before we got the safe house. Uh, or not just the last map, but, like, the last map we got, uh, intelligence in was a tier 16 so this is a tier 16 so this is effectively a tier 16 with 100 percent increased experience which is perfect we're up to 20 percent xp already Oh, I don't know if I said it. We hit 93 off uh, off stream. I was going to wait to level up till we I was on stream, but I mean, you've all seen leveling before. I do prefer to level on stream. Wait, why are there explosions? Or is that me? No, that must have been the uh, Torment Spirit. Now, I've listened to enough set scenes. I'm gonna pop. Set scenes is good, but I'm good for now. Prism Kwai. I feel like I should know... I feel like I do know this song. These are just... basic. Oh, these are Vrichi Vay. Forget what his veil do. Breach, breach, stonecraft. Nice. And breach stone even harder. If I mean, I haven't done a breach stone yet, but we will eventually be able to do a breach stone. Yeah, we're up to 25% XP now. That's awesome. Genuinely, it might only be one more map than we have our intervention house. Okay. Next order of business. We have a tier... We have tier 14 to do. My brain is feeling a bit off because I'm used to being 14, 15, 16. Not 14, 15, 16, 17. So everything is like squished in a way that I'm like, oh, well, this is the second from uh, from tier 16. So this must be 
or this must be a 14, but there's... I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense in anyone else's brain but mine, but... It keeps throwing me off that there's 17 tiers now. Uh, no freeze. Curse is less effective. Okay. We'll have to expire fast. Okay, well, we need more maps of this tier. So, I will pick up some more maps. How about that? Do we even bother with them? I don't think I've done a 10 boss one yet, so I'll bother with her just for that reason. Okay, well, that's about what I would expect. I want to do Maven just enough to get enough... Get enough of the uh, passive points. That's it. Generally, the rewards for doing the invitations, like just the, the map boss invitations, are not worth the time. At least in my experiences. Okay, Jim, what do you got for me? Um, num, num, num. Lots of rare, rare creatures. Oh, an Omni? Or is that a Kosis? Who are you? You're Omni. Amnophobia. My Omnophobia. Probably shouldn't have picked me as the one you were going to invade. That was a bad choice. I am far from easy pickings. <laughs> Research. There's intervention. I was wondering when they were going to show up. Okay, so we... I think it's Camaria that's the leader right now, so we've got Camaria to show up. Asian. Okay. I can get 21 off of it. Enough. Camaria. Morgan, I can. Yeah, well, I'll be able to interrogate John, so I'm gonna move Morgan. Feels very good for dealing with legions. Okay. Oh no. Okay, well, maybe. Maybe we'll not just stand in the center of all of the Legion monsters. How about that? But a bit terrifying, to say the least. I do want to actually level sometimes, so. Oh, a blue pearl amulet. Nice. It's only a uh, eight uh, item level eighty one. It's not going to be. A yeah. I don't think the base is worth anything. The pearl amulet. One chaos. The base below 83 certainly isn't worth anything. Hi, Ron. Welcome back to the stream.
Man, things are extra fuckity today. Ooh, what was that? Oh. Saw an abyss fucker wandering off. That was the abyss fuckers. Uh, there's a lightning moron. There you are. Asted extra physical damage. That might have been. Did I lose the abyss? I think I'm bad. Wait, did I remember to corrupt the map? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. But I want to, I want to make sure I actually get the progress. Oh, soul eater. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Feed me all the rares. I wanted to eat them all. Yeah. Hey, can I go in, please? Thank you. Woo! Oopsie. Don't stand in too many. That's getting a bit much. Port! Ah, that one done. Okay, so we did get the Imperial Raids. I don't want to block off. Oh, those are my fireballs. I was wondering what that sound was. Okay, what should we move around here? Could add another chance for dilemma. That's not as important. Oh, I did grab the gateway over here, though. So that I could grab the Eternal Torment. I think I want Light of Dawn to give. Or X arch. Oh, that's probably it. That'll be the most reliable. And I can also take the Lyrium. And there's also the Strongbox stuff, too. Much that I want. I don't know the name of that amulet we passed. I've seen it before. The one that swaps between effects. It's like Taku something. It's the Taco amulet. I love that. I'm getting really sick of the fact that 
I think I wore out my side mouse button. Because when I... Okay, my side mouse button is what I hit for my stand in something. Okay. One, two. It takes two clicks, like, reliably for me to activate my health potion. And I know it's not just Path or anything doing that, because I also experience it when I... The very few times I play Last Epoch. Whenever I use those potions, because... Those are also set up to use the same thing. Oh god. Oh no, we have Ambush. Stop teleporting me. I hate Ambush because it just teleports you to cl the closest monster. We're gonna... We're gonna wait a second. Oh, it's a modifier. Oh god. Stop teleporting me. Oh. Fucking tormented spirits running around, so it's teleporting me around with it. I hate ambush. It's like one of the worst modifiers you can get from a headhunter. No. Oh, stop moving me. I'm trying to go places. It makes it very hard to dodge things, because you can- it'll, like, push you right back into things that you've dodged. Or you'll, like, back up away from Monster Pack, and it'll push you right back into it. It's very much a Chaos Gremlin kind. Okay. What's new? Of everything. I need to stop reflexively picking up all of the veiled stuff that drops because I I don't need it. I have basically nothing left to unveil that I actually care about. Okay, Forbidden Woods. Harbingers! Increased amount of rare monsters. Always good. Oh no! Monsters will suppress my spell damage. How am I going to survive? Oh, it did actually change the t It changed which map it was. Darn it. <laughs> I still need this one, but it's kind of frustrating. Oh, chance to drop Chaos Orb. Nice. I'll put that there. Actually, wait. How much are Regals? Maybe I want, uh, maybe I want the good old Wriggler. Well, I have zero... <laughs> I have zero Regals and 388 Chaos, so I assume that the Regals are worth way more. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily true, but maybe. Actually, actually, something that I do want to check is... So, I know that it locks things. Does that mean that you can't remove the map? Or can, it does? are you still actually allowed to add scarabs? Thing? You know, you can't add scarabs. I've heard suggestions that, like, oh, if you, uh, get the, um, if you get the, uh, armor drops as chaos orbs or divine orbs or whatever modifier, you can just put scarabs on after. No, you cannot do that. You can, however, add, uh, the anarchy modifier. You can change your modifier here. That's about it. Actually, question. Okay, so you can change your Atlas passive tree as well. So, you'd have one that's, like, super good for specifically farming uh, the maps that have tons of rogue exiles in them. And strong boxes. And then one that's just for normal shit. Oh! 
<gasps> this is magistrate haunted. Awesome. I need to kill six. I need to kill 50 of, of magistrate haunted things. Yeah. Quest thingy. It stays magistrate haunted. Okay, I'm gonna grab Regal because I need badly. Oh, this is high pack density. In that case, we better do this. Okay, well, I'll put this on here in the hopes that I'll get more Vagals. But this is higher pack density, so I'll probably get more Chaos. So we'll see how that goes. I could get the modifier that increases the uh, the speed that it moves, that the delirium moves away from the mirror when you start. I don't feel like that's worth it. I could add a lot of extra uh, rewards for those three-ish points. So it doesn't feel like a pick when I can just move slightly slower. By slightly slower, I mean, like, wait a couple seconds and then run. Lots of chaos. I think I understand why people like strong boxes so much this league. Because the strong boxes pull from the creatures that are in the map, which would mean that. Theoretically, they would be considered, be considered natural creatures. Natural creatures are affected by the lantern modifiers. Oh my gosh, lots of energy shield. I must have stolen a uh, energy shield aura or something. No, I don't have discipline. Elemental mod. Ooh, lots of regals. Hey, Noodle. Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you again. How are you doing today? And Torment Spirit. Ooh, Vol Legion. Nice. Oh, Harbinger. Right? Add Harbinger? Stuff? Why do we have Harbingers? Oh, it was uh, a map implicit. Right, okay. I was so confused for a second. Oh yeah, we have three Harbingers added. It will spawn lots more rare things. I'm sorry to hear things aren't great, but things are going well o over here. I'm enjoying the fact that uh, headhunters are so damn cheap. Can't remember if you play path or not.
Yep, so of course I picked one up. It fits just fine to this build. I even modified the build in such a way that like it can totally fit it. Oh! Oh, I knocked out all the mad the 50 magistrate haunted that I needed in this one map, because I was at zero before. Wow, okay, that was fast. Let's me clicky. Yeah, so seven percent chance to get a chaos orb on kill is pretty damn good. Picking up Looney. Oh my gosh, no. I forget, non Canadians aren't going to know what I mean by loonies. It, unless you do, I don't know. Loonies are $1 coins in Canada. I know a lot of people do not know that. What? Sorry, I, I got a bit got a bit sidetracked for a second. Thank you, Pyro, for allowing tier 17 to the permitted terms. Yeah, what? <laughs> That's weird. Uh, no, I haven't gotten any tier 17s yet. I actually just did my tier my first tier 16. I did a Veritania. I've been like like going through each tier basically a map and like trying to finish the entire tier and like going all the way up. I haven't been like rushing to red maps, even though it's probably the mechanically ideal thing to do. I look forward to trying the tier 17, though. I don't really know a huge amount about them yet. Just that would be boss there. That's all I really know. Oh my god. Ah, four gods. There's four gods. Two Lunaris and two Solaris. That is rough. I have to go back. Oh, and uh... oh my gosh! Actually, I don't know how much are mirrors right now. Can I buy a mirror? No, because they probably got inflated with the uh, value of chaos. Okay, that's... Double normal? I think usually they sit between like 250 and 350. And I think we're... That would take concerted effort to get to. Love to earn one, though. With 13 Chaos and 14 Regals, that's really, really nice. How much are my good old Regals? They're 0.4. Show well. I'll be honest, the difference between 650 Div and 700 Div isn't a very big difference to me. Because if you're going to collect 650 div, collecting an extra 50 div isn't going to be a big deal because you've already set up something. 
to, like, farm currency, basically. Wow, the Permal Edge really has gone up in value. I mean, not farm currency in a specific way. You'll just you just need to make money in like a very deliberate way if you want to get up that much. That's all I mean. Okay. Nick map will drop from the final boss. No. Uh, increased tier of maps, and I will add a bonus map. And here, I'll add a bonus drop. Oh, I got really excited for a second. <laughs> More pack size and increase pack size. What do I do with this? Lens, fractured item. Catalyst. Scarabs. I think the syndicate research thing is actually pretty valuable. All flame. Yeah, it's like 50. Well, I mean... With this pack size boost, well, it's not a high pack density. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do the scarab one here. Reduced modifier tier and reduced pack size is like such <laughs> just, just the death for that pack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why didn't it front load all the strong boxes? There's so many of them right here. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, all, I see five strong boxes. The sulfite and a harvest right here. <laughs> Honestly, I should probably be blocking harvest because I don't. My temptation to just walk past it because I don't really care is pretty high. So if you're walking past content, you should just block it so that you get boost to other content. Then there aren't things taking up the slots and all of that. Just generally better. Why was I huge first? Oh, I have the periodically engorge thing again. I know it's periodically enraged, but I like saying engorge more. It's much funnier. Character's so engorged. Look at his girth. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, I'm very happy with this bit. It has done everything I've wanted it to. Yeah. 
Why is Portal so hard to click on? Um, no, um, oh, Discipline Aura. I like. Yes. Yes. Gotta be careful walking into this one particular room. The end room's always dangerous. Oh, I got everyone? Cool. Woo! What is going on? <laughs> speed, big speed boost. Okay. Oh, intervention's done. Did I already get intervention? No, it just skipped it. Not that big a loss. Cool, so we can go do intervention and then Katarina. And it should be a tier 16 Katarina. Ooh. No. No, because I think I did a tier 14 when it completed it. Or no, it'd be completed on this map, so it's a, it will be a tier 14 Katarina again, I think. I love you, Huck. Come see me. There you are. Wait, would a good pickup line for him be like, hey, you want to huck? Wait, strong box over here. And a monument that I completely or a monolith that I just completely missed. It's so hard with Delirium to see if the monolith is pointing towards a general or not. There it makes it very hard to see anything. But the extra pack size is always valuable. Though so most of the benefits this league are on particular monsters, so maybe it'd be better if I actually skipped out on Delirium and focused entirely on Storm Boxes. Exile. Because while I don't like Exiles, they do technically have a use in very specific circumstances. AKA with that one currency farming strategy. Ooh, a possessed Giannis. That is nasty.
I'm so tempted to just ignore the harvest completely. Really, once again, reminds me that I should probably just be blocking it. So harvest has some nice little synergy with delirium because it's a bunch of extra pack size for the delirium specifically, and delirium monsters spawn in the harvest area. Notable quantity. So it can help a lot with trying to actually reach your tiers you want. Maybe it's better to just block anything that you're not exclusively powering up. Or like exclusively investing in via the atlas. Passive tree. Because I'm investing in strong boxes and shrines, both of which are. I don't have monoliths blocked because this character is pretty good for them. But I also haven't done anything to modify the monoliths, so they're not actually all that rewarding. Which maybe makes me think that I should be blocking them. But like, having extra content to fill up the map isn't bad. Sure. Ooh, free endurance charges from some. I like that. And are we done? Did I get all the strong boxes? I think I did. I think I'm good. That's sad because we're close to tier to the sixth layer of delirium. But oh well. Not that big a deal. Okay, cool. So we are at 78% progress for Katarina, and this and seeing as Kamir is rank three, he'll give me 48. So I'll very much be done, Katarina. Eris and Shrine are both. Oh, an accelerating catalyst. Those are not worth framing. <laughs> not the, like the least valuable, but they're they're very bad. <laughs> I was trying to spin that in a nice way, but no, they just suck. Okay. Ooh, fasting. Fasting's good. Very good. Fire. Another one? No. Oh well. Might sell. I'm not gonna... I keep putting... I keep putting clusters in my crafting tab like I'm going to actually craft them into something, but I probably am not going to because I've spent so much time crafting clusters that it's just kind of melted my brain a bit. Because, like, you need to kind of... Unless you're doing it with a tool specifically, and I was doing it with a tool uh, to help me like double check the prices of modifiers, but you to do it efficiently, you have to memorize what the valuable modifiers are on basically every cluster that is valuable. And if you 
are doing small, medium, and large clusters. That's you have to you basically have to memorize every valuable modifier on at least fifteen different clusters, which usually is only like three, two, but I mean, still, that's 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 a lot. <laughs> And, like, you can't turn your brain off, because if you accidentally roll past one of the modifiers that's really valuable, you're just going to be kicking yourself, because you could easily just throw a lot of money down the drain. It's a very, like, brain-intensive strategy, though it is very, very efficient for money, or it can be some things. I got a Jorgens. I remember Jorgens. So, I need to turn the tables. I need, I need two turns to hit the Katarina, so just one more map will be enough. Because generally, each map gives three turns. Unless you have a safe house waiting. Usually two. Gift card scarabs. Reminder with your scarabs, the ones that you don't find you like don't intend to use, to throw them into a vendor three at a time. Uh it doesn't they don't need to be the same scarab. They can be all different random ones. But oh, that's two. Just be all different random ones. But they give you a chance of getting a I mean they give you a random scarab back. Also, what was that? Is a copy of Beast captured in the area? Not worth anything. It does... That could be very valuable if you do the right thing. I have something that's crap, yeah. I don't do I don't do blight. Okay, that's five. Since there's no scarab tears or anything, you can just find them. Barrel of reinforcement. Good uh, and selectiveness, which actually I think No, is awful. <laughs> I think this is good no. That is my that is my entire experience with scarabs this league. It's just, hey, this looks cool. Oh, it's worth nothing. Oh, this one looks like it's valuable. Oh, it's not even a chaos. Uh, who should we do for? We do have a tier sixteen. Don't have any horizons. You know what? I don't care. We're gonna do this one because hopefully we can turn the tier the Katarina into a Katarina by or getting the requisite amount of intelligence up. Oh, yeah, the Veritania was the thicket. Okay. Oh, right. We're not fighting a scary boss. We can just...
You know, I might actually take off Delirium partially because of how taxing it is to show it on stream. How taxing it is, like, just on the computer. Because it's honestly not giving me all that much stuff that I, that I value. Like, the extra pack size doesn't really matter this league as much. Because the pack size that matters is specific pack sizes of specific creatures. Which is honestly a really good mechanic. Rather than just anything that adds more creatures equal good. It actually requires some thought to it, I like. I don't really want to move Valerion. Not that useless. For equipment, I'll transfer. Okay. I think equipment only really matters for their quantity and rarity of the items that the rogues themselves draw. So. Because they give certain buffs, but I don't think it affects their the benefits you get from them in the safe house. I don't think it affect. It definitely doesn't affect Katarina, so it doesn't really matter. The rogues don't really drop a huge amount of stuff, anyways. Like it, it matters if you want like veiled stuff, but for the most part, you don't really need veiled stuff. Need kind of like a few modifiers for No Okay Oh boy Almost Ooh Ooh whoa 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 That was really really dangerous I almost hit zero life Uh whatever it must have been a chaos dot on the ground because my energy shield was not going down. Scared me. I'm trying to protect my XP. Let's see how high I can naturally level before I decide to go pay for five ways. Assuming, again, that five ways are a thing this late. I don't know how much people care. Oh god, I hope the prices of five ways aren't, like, vastly increased. Because a set of five, I think, was like... I think it was like two div per run. So that mattered a lot more when Div was like 250. I might keep expedition because it seems to give decent rewards irregardless where you are like like what regardless what you've added okay, i think or an isling i'm going to get to Pick the board one more time. I think I'm going to sacrifice Isling for 12 intelligence. That's why I don't unveil things anymore. Okay, let's see. Here is... Move mana. Take mana. 
stars, crits, no. Salmon. Ow. I don't really need the. Not very. Oh, I can't actually get all the way to the cold. Sometimes I won't be able to freeze anything, but not that big a deal. None of the modifiers are that dangerous, so. I love that. Expedition is just valuable even without investment. Because the burrow medallions and the uh, coinage, exotic coinage, are both pretty valuable. I think medallions are like nines. See, this coinage is four. I mean, I got four C from that encounter. That's worth it. Chaos. I'll probably need to take... I'll take a moment at some other time and bleed Tusion dry. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I did not enjoy that. I have some some opinions for you, little ghosty fucks. Coming back for you. I don't think those are the same ghosty fox. No general. No, I got ambush! No, that makes it very hard to kill things! Stop giving me ambush. I hate it. Wait, I have... Ah! I have consecrated ground for some reason. Oh. I should just stop moving and just attack on my position. As soon as I say that, I stop getting teleported. Oh, no, I'm being teleported again. Whoa, what was that? Oh, God fucking- Ugh! Stop teleporting me! Imagine that does not matter with a lot of builds that just, like, attack everything around them. I'm at least somewhat targeted. You know, sometimes I have friends tell me, who don't know much about Path, that when they look at my stream, they're like, I, have n I don't have the slightest clue what's going on. And usually I do have a general idea what's going on, but sometimes in these research encounters especially, I don't know what's going on. Just too much shit happening.
Oh, I got another horizon orb. Yay. Not bringing these back. Have anything? Hey, okay, Haylock has nothing for me. Why do I keep picking up veiled stuff? I keep telling, saying I'm not going to do it, and then I do it again. Imagine what it would be like blocking Delirium. Because I haven't blocked Delirium, I think, since the mechanic to block things came out. Oh. So I blocked Delirium. I would get four points back here and four points back here. So I would bring back eight points, and those eight points could go into something else. If I intend to do Eater or Exarch, I should probably pick one and then only invest in that one. Honestly, it might be better to just invest in strong boxes entirely. And shrines. Strong boxes and shrines. I mean, I can design an entire new passive tree whenever I want. And I am going to do that specifically for the Rogue Exile thing. I am going to design a new passive tree specifically for only doing the Rogue Exile encounters. Um, like when when you get the armor drops as Chaos Orbs or armor drops as Exalted Orbs or whatever. Like I'm going to make a thing just for that so that I can maximize it. Because apparently you can get a lot of money that way. Okay, so we're going to fight Katarina, but before we do, we are going to take a quick five minute break. We're going to come back and do that. Hopefully, we will get another 12 div veiled chaos orb, because that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to spend it on, I'll be honest. I just don't know what else, like, I, there is some more gear I can add, I'm sure. I'm sure that my rare gear isn't perfect, and I could definitely buy more, like, acres and embers and stuff, but... I could also enchant my, uh... Divinarius. Divinarius. Divinar okay, well, we'll be coming back in five minutes to do, uh, Katarina. So... Be right. Herb. Welcome back, everyone. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's see if she actually is a tier 16. Or no. I hope she is. This is, I hope you all got a chance to get a snack. And or water. And or stretch. Because all of which are good. Yay, it's tier 16, Katarina. I keep doing tier 14s.
Have giant horns. I think she has, like, damage reduction while channeling or something, because as soon as she stopped channeling, she started taking a whole shit ton of damage. Also, Calarina's area gives 200% increased XP, which is really nice. If I can just survive Katarina, then I can preserve that XP. So, I don't think... I'm not likely to die. If I die, it'll be once due to something stupid. But, I'm like, I'm just not paying attention or something. That's That is usually the only reason that this build will die, just because it's that strong. Not too concerned. Reminder that if you want to uh, try out this build, I have a rather in-depth guide video and uh, path of building, both uh, in the description of the VOD, and if you hit, or you type slash, or not slash, um, exclamation mark build in chat, you will get a link to the video. Katarina! Okay, I'm gonna bet she goes here. She didn't move! She always teleports! She faked me out. Okay. Hillock. Oh, not Hillock. I never figured this out. Is it a random one that she unlocks? Random person? That was random. There we go. Hey, get back here. And right. You can tell because the swirlies around him went away. And power. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, okay. Gotta run over all the skulls. Don't wanna get hit with true damage when they win. Because they suck. I should have teleported away from that. That was really dangerous. Okay, last lieutenant. Bye, Haku. Okay. Break the last capture area. Yeah. Barely standing in the capture area. That's not good. need to be taking damage from that. And goodbye. Oh cool, I got the bonus for doing it tier 6. Failed chaos, failed chaos, failed chaos, failed chaos, yes! 
Sorry, I, didn't, I shouldn't yell. <laughs> oh, how much are these right now? 12 div! Ugh. Sexy. Oh my gosh, those are great resistances. It's unfortunate it's on a sword, though. It'd be great resistances if it wasn't a sword. Now for the extra bonus. Look where Overlord. Unique monsters drop an additional unique. Gosh. 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 So many gems. I'll be able to get like five entire gem cutters out of that. They're worth exactly half a chaos each. Oh, please don't lag. Oh, I don't I don't want it to like eat my something. It has a tendency to do that sometimes. Where it's like, oh, you're actually going to disconnect. Oh, well, since you disconnected, it ate your uh, portals are gone. Oh, those were valuable? Oh, that sucks. <sighs> All right, I really should go and... I'm interested in what this will turn out to be, because that's a tier 2 cold and a tier 2 mana. Some of the double veils are actually valuable, because you can turn them into cool stuff. Oh, I, sh I really want to try the rogue giants. Sounds really cool. Having one giant exile one. I hope they're not, like, obscenely overpowered or something. That would kind of suck. A breach stone bargain. Nice. No! Stop that. That's a Combs Primacy? I believe? Yeah, Combs Primacy. And our final one is Scarabs, I assume. Yep. Forty-eight percent XP. We're doing good. One of the side side benefits of doing Katarina is you get a ton of XP for doing the safe houses, because you usually have to do three safe houses to activate her. Actually, I could do the increased intelligence gain stuff when I have a when I have mastermind experience or mastermind uh, stuff waiting for me. Nope, I think the board's reset now. That I, yeah. Okay, when I have like a uh, when I'm waiting on someone to. Uh, what am I trying to say? When I'm doing a map when I know that I have three turns of Mastermind experience, I should just use the Betrayal Scare of Intelligence. Well, I could also do some, like, I know, shit. That would be good. 
and another uh, another Alice passive tree. Okay, we're getting we're doing pretty good for finishing up the Atlas. I gotta say. Wait, no, no, no scroll of wisdom. I need. Projectiles to unique bosses off expire faster. I can do that. Hmm. Two unique bosses. Projectiles. Can't freeze. Critical strikes. More rare monsters, though. Oh my gosh, I have a sad pug. What's going on, baby? What's wrong? Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah. Girl? Yeah. Sometimes all you need is a bit of love. Yeah, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna grab a Beyond Scarab, Urgent Beyond Scarab, and a Invasion Beyond Scarab. Sure. Gonna make it super Beyond. We'll go above and beyond. Whoa, okay, hold on. <laughs> dropped his jeweler's orbs, dropped his fusings, quantity, alteration, okay. A lot of things going on here. That's probably better. Since they're all normal except for this pack density. I don't actually care about the alterations, though. Did I put scarabs in? Yes, I did. Oh, God. The map of infinite doors. This is what Shrine is. I think I'm... What am I thinking of? I think I'm thinking of Ivory Temple when I was thinking of Shrine initially. Okay. Oh my gosh. OBS is so angry at me for having delirium right now. The game is like, are you kidding me? This many effects? I'm on like minimum effect quality too. Like it's not... I don't have my... Settings all cranked up or anything. And I have a strong computer too. So it is horrifying how much this takes. Oh, that was an eight passive fire cluster. Only in a level 80 though. That might not be good enough to do a lot of things. Oh, uh, go talk to the people. Stop that. Yep, it. Trying to poke people. I 
expansion. Uh, sure. There. Ooh, that one's actually good if I get movement speed on it. Wait. Oh, I got two really high resistance, but so confused a second. Bill prefix, bill prefix. Okay, so those both could be good. I might kill off Delirium just because it's honestly not that beneficial these days. Because, like, I'm not really crafting the clusters, and the general pack size isn't as valuable in this league when it's all particular packs, like, particular packs that the size matter on. Another pro Oh, because I went close enough to the... I went close enough to the fortification that it decided the fortification was active. Oh yeah, I must have accidentally hit the uh, door. That would explain it. Okay. Okay, I need everyone to leave me alone for a second so I can... ...thing. It's terrifying sometimes in these maps, like, stopping to to check your syndicate board, because all this shit that happens outside, you can't see anything that's happening when you're doing syndicate stuff. Yeah, there's like a, there's a rare right outside that's like waiting to kill me. You have to kind of like obsessively clear the area. Though Huck will help distract anything that just decides to bother me. Station, error. Okay. Now I can go back and do the thing. Laboratory. Ooh, something was fast. Be haste. Out. Then I was as I was in danger, I got an an energy shield boost. Nice. Ah, I guess there's a reason why the head headhunter is considered best in slot in a lot of places. Most builds. Um. Oh, a strong box I forgot to do. And, you know, doing non-delirium stuff probably would make a better view. My gosh, I'm so big now. Periodically enraged with, uh... I don't have Soul Eater anymore. I don't know what's up with that. I must have stepped on an abyss. That fact. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is getting dicey. Nothing, nothing worse than opening a chest and it, and like just sitting there waiting for something to come out and nothing does. Like, but I was hoping, I was hoping for candy. If I'm gonna get in your van, I should, you should at least give me candy first. 
Don't get into anyone's van that you don't. Bad idea. Don't want my stupid jokes to be misconstrued as advice. <laughs> oh god. That would be... <laughs> Ugh, I really don't want people taking advice from any of the stupid shit I say. Ooh, too. Oh, how I love you too, Jean. Actually, getting very much out of this particular thing because this entire arena is awful. Oh, I got a logbook. That's good. Ow. Logbook and an ow. Oh, my meteors, kill things for me. Okay. Moving onwards. I'm going to try swapping away from Delirium after this. I want to try it and see. I do like Delirium, but it isn't as valuable this league, as I've said before, and it's starting to get really annoying visually, trying to actually see what's going on. Even for me. It's Gore. No! Okay! Whoa, that almost went very badly. Hi, Gore. Okay. I'm f afraid of going outside and seeing Gore. I guess I'm agoraphobic. Uh -huh. Agoraphobia is a serious mental illness. Take it seriously. Just making it a joke because it's stupid. My joke is stupid, I mean. Always take mental health seriously. At least screw someone up. Yeah. Hi, Eddie. Crossmade Gemling. Fifty five percent of the way. Or it's pretty good. Oh, is delirium ever annoying in boss small boss arenas? I think I just took out one of one of the pieties. Oh, there she is. That that did get her. The other one's still pretty healthy. I'm gonna clear all this delirium crap out. So I can see what's going on. Her. She there she is. Oh, she's gone. I've lost her again. Lots of blood in. Over here. There you are. You. Okay. 
That is that. Oh, not you. Need at least eight reef points. Might be able to craft this fire something actually like more valuable because I'm hoping to put a fire jewel or a fire damage eight passive large cluster jewel into my builds right over here. Hoping to get like master of fire and most importantly both the jewel sockets so that I can put uh these avoidance jewels in. Okay, right, how much are these log books? Nine C. Care about pricing log books? I'm not familiar. I've never like run them with any like real intent, like farm the mechanic itself efficiently. So I don't really know what makes them good. Okay, Forbidden Woods. Okay, so we're going to take a nightmare. Is... Take out that which you seek. It is. We are, for the first time in the entirety of having the Atlas Passive Tree for me, going to block. Feels very weird. I'm gonna block Harvest, since I'm not using Harvest and I'm not using Breach. And realistically, I'm not really getting much out of Legion. I'll just keep. Expedition requires the most, like, like focus, stopping and doing things. Legion is easier. But Abyss just feeds, just feeds you rares, so that, I like that. Beeps, that's really good. I'm gonna do that. It'll give me an 8% more chance to get anything else that's left. Legion's Abyss and... Sorry, a bussy. Whatever the fuck this thing is. Smuggler's caches. <laughs> oh, my poor brain. Doesn't keep up these days. Could also get rid of doomed spirits, potentially. I don't know if it's worth having. It is kind of nice, getting extra strong boxes, but not like the biggest deal. Oh, baby. Okay. The other option is that I pick up grab another extra strong box reliably. I think I need Light of Dawn. Definitely. Increased progress towards steering X hearts might be worth it too. Uh I'm going to take out the progress I have towards either of worlds, and I'm just going to do X-Arch instead. I 
No, I don't want... No, not that many. I just, just redoing my passive tree here. This is... I think this is honestly going to be worth the time. Could also go grab Wrath of the Cop. The thing is, like, one of the biggest benefits of this is that they'll drop, like, chaos orbs and shit. But, like, the League mechanic is better for that. So... Might not even be worth it really focusing on doing X-Arts like I usually do. Like, this entire League has kind of, like, reformatted the way that I deal with... Just maps in general. Really fucking weird. Oh, there's strong box stuff. Those are really cool. I'm gonna grab these. I block some. I unblock. I don't want to. Do it. I think it's. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm gonna unblock for a second. Just give me a point, and then I'm gonna grab tamper proof. So those are going to help a lot. I'm pro. So I'm gonna re-block expedition when I get another point, and I'm gonna probably get rid of price of progress once I have enough to go over. Here and get more strongbox stuff. Actually, no, I'm not. The better way to do this. Oh, I did not mean to... Whatever. It's going to be worth it. Having more anyways. I'm going to undo Price of Progress. That has a chance of giving me a strongbox each time, but this guarantees I have a strong box. It also increases the number of things that pop out of the strong box. I ate up, I ate up all my orbs of regret. I have, uh, concerns. What do I want to pick up? In particular, I want to run. And I still want higher tier maps, so increasing the number of maps I get and increasing their tier is valuable. You know what, I'm gonna swap out one of the final map boss. Wait, no, I should I should hold on to this until I have a wind map boss. Okay, that hurts. Both high density. I don't know if high density is worth me leaving this here, though. I was hoping to upgrade the Noble Haunted here Magistrate by adding, doing the plus modifier, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. But I'll throw an Omen thing. Why not? Strongest pack monster is supposed to have increased wants, so hopefully the pack leader that drops omens. Like one or two omens that are worth a lot of money. 
love to have that. Plus, I can use the weaker owners as well. I don't. They don't have to be. Hello, Exile. Probably going to sit down one day and just take my time and try to figure out an Atlas Passenger, the Exile, that one modifier. Oh, I don't. I haven't seen it again since that that one time we got it. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know how common it's going to be. Okay, that's thing I see. Hi, Riker. Hi, Riker. Oh, baby. Dream. One moment, I'm gonna see to what the baby needs. Drop the stream, but to see to her. One second. Okay. Hopefully she'll be a bit happier now. Wait. Oh, I walked away from the intervention encounter, didn't I? Back and deal with that. Wait. I'm confused. Where the fuck? Did I go up? Where the hell did I start? Over here. Oh my gosh. I'm so turned around for some reason. Okay, Jorgen 7. Blights. And for Blight Scare. I don't need Blight Scare. I can write, rank up Giannis. I'll rank it. Darn it. What's Elrion do? Eh, relic. Nope. Stop. Don't flower me, bro. Sick of being flowered. There is a very low-brow joke I can make right there, and I'm not going to make it. But I am going to acknowledge it exists. Not that a joke being lowbrow stopped me from making it before, but... <laughs> so many frogs. Why are there so many frogs everywhere? I think if I just keep moving, I'm fine. So the other day I tried brute forcing the uh, Rogue Exiles thing by just like doing a ton of like low tier maps, just basically throwing them out. And if they turned into something cool, I would run it, but otherwise I would just completely ignore them. And honestly, I didn't really find that it created many interesting things. Wise. And from what I understand, after doing some reading, the devoted modifiers, which are like the purely bonus ones in yellow text, 
are affected by the haunted modifiers, which are all the negative ones. Uh, the more haunted modifiers that you take down in your maps, like the more monsters you kill with like high, the higher and higher tier haunted modifiers, the better chance you have of getting devoted modifiers on your maps. So I guess there's like some internal storage or something of basically necropolis power based on how many uh, negative modifiers that you do over time. Oh my god, life regen and adaptive resistance is terrible to you. By terrible, I mean, like, obscene strong. Obscenely strong and cruel. Unresolved anguish. Okay, so that does give you... ...thing. And since I have the, it does give you a corpse. And since I have the uh, acid, eternal torment, it spawns tormented spirit sometimes. Not good enough. Tier one, it might be worse, but no one's gonna spend a ton of money to craft on a tier modifier when they can just. With the, the investment in, if they're already invest, they're already working on buying a base for crafting. They're willing to invest money. You don't start crafting in Path of Exile because, especially with the random nature, you brick a lot of things. All your equipment can just get destroyed before you to use oh these are the uh ants from uh god i've already forgotten the name from the affliction league but this map's been around for a while i thought benwood maybe this was new in affliction and i'm just gonna I do enjoy that having a headhunter means that these usually challenging areas full of rare mobs are now bonuses for me. I don't, I very rarely get headhunter. It still feels pretty. Okay. Some people just go for it every league. I, I don't. <laughs> Oftentimes because I pick, I do multiple builds. So, it costs a chunk of money to be able to create those builds. Also, I haven't seen a single omen, which makes me think that my loot filter might have filtered them out. And they must have only been, like, sh shitty ones. Okay, I'm terrace now. Remember to use my orbs of binding. Otherwise, I'm just wasting elks. Oh, increased item rarity. Nice. That actually is probably useless, but still. Good to have. 
A bar converted to blessed orb. Don't think that's good. No, blessed orbs are are five to a chaos. Elks are seven to a chaos. Okay. Yeah, not really worth much. Wait, why do I? I was like, why do I have so many elf members I can use? Is it because I'm? Oh, I guess I, the tier thirteen is low enough to be other stuff. Really good, I guess. How much are the rowas? About ten C. I think they have a pack. Oh, there's the Ember Brats. He's also run. Yeah, R15. Uh, I'm like I'm trying to figure out how to make this efficient, but really I need to just run it because nothing in there is all that valuable, anyways. Like trying to kind of power game this really kind of shitty set of modifiers. It's better to just do the map and get to another one. Oh, lag. FPS lag. It usually doesn't happen. Huh? I want to remove. I'll banish him. Yeah, Haku can do stuff. That's a, that's a ritual. Why is there a ritual here? Oh, Fortune Favors the Brave gave me a ritual. That's not incredibly useful. Wait, I thought I... For some reason, he's still on the map, despite the fact that I've already clicked on him. I don't... I don't understand. Maybe I should have saved the fractured items one for a higher tier map, but honestly just using it to increase the pack size. Blackout is such a creepy. Which is, that's what's playing. Kind of like the dark and creepy vibe, though.
I think I... Yeah, I have, uh, I have detonate dead. Like, the auto detonate dead modifier right now. Every, so any corpses around me are going to start detonating. But those are mine, so you don't have to worry if you see them detonating on me. Oh, I also have Soul Eater! Oh my gosh. Actually, those are an anti-synergy, because it's going to be destroying the souls that I'm trying to eat. I think Soul Eater eats corpses? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Soul Eater just works different. Also, wait a minute. Did I? Aha! I was slightly covered up. Okay, that's a lot of explosions. Oh, it's openable again. Okay, I was so confused. Wait, can I do it a third time? <laughs> I've never I've never been able to open a, a strong box three times before. That's so cool. I got... That's a 1% chance, because it's a 10% chance to get a, a reopening. And then to get another one after that is a 1% chance, if you do math. That's really funny. Okay, let's go kill you, ghoul, now. Oh, this is where the last ritual is. Okay. Ow. Let me smack you. Get out of the water. Oh, oh, that's you, cool. That's that's the blur slowly walking past me. <laughs> Uh, I that is a fracture. That might be worth. Lightning Pen, Lightning Crypt Multi, Mana Regen, Alvarez, Ignite Reduce for Duration. Something. Or I'll just... Why not? Okay. I like that. Yeah, Pyro. Working on was this. I guess I'm heading over, heading over this strong boxes in. Okay, gratis. Three in the gratis line now. Actually, I'm curious. Let's go to the, uh, go to the necropolis. I want to see if I have enough haunted by modifiers to do anything. Uh, 
I I Eh. Okay. I have like three of them. Okay, Navalius. Okay, so we have Arius, Navalius, Delinius of Navalius, and Arius. We have Hadrius first. No, we already have. Well, we're getting there. We just need uh, one. We we just need four of of one type, and we have three of every type now. So we just need one that we don't already have. <laughs> Wait, Did a, we unlocked a favorite map slot. I actually put that on something. My favorite things I don't have? No, I can't. If only. I don't know what I would want to Wild Cathedral? Hard to say. What maps I do I genuinely like and would I like parks. I guess I'll just pick parks and sixty four percent. Good. Started at like ten, so good. Done all of tier fourteen. Okay. Second this is the last map that we haven't done that we have access to. Nope. No reduced max reds. Reduced effective cursoras, nope. And increased accuracy rate. Don't do that. Okay. Apps. Pick an extra scarab boxes. I don't know what else. I think what else would be actually Grab a rogue exile one in case this being a valuable thing. Probably not, but maybe. It's always always the chance. Armor dropped his orbs of unmaking. Okay, no, that actually is valuable. Orbs of unmaking are. Which orbs of unmaking? They're half a chaos. So it's half as valuable as the chaos orb. I can't access my Ember of Antarchy anyways because it's too low level. 
That was like 10C to get another one. Put that over there. It can't be reduced. I should put the fractured item thing on it because the fractured items are rare items. I don't know if that increases the number of rare items you're going to drop, necessarily. I don't know. It's hard to say. But it does increase the pack size. So I'm hoping that that is enough. I mean, this, I think this is fine. Let's see. Be concerned about anything else? Okay. It's Stain Steve returns. We're always topping the leaderboard. Oh, I could have added Rogex. Actually, no, that wouldn't have worked. I'm not using the Rexel Ember. Well, I mean, we'll see. See if adding the uh, synth, 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 syntholite. We'll see if adding the synth eats or syntholites or whatever the fuck actually works. Can I open this place thing. Okay. I think it only matters adding the rogue exiles if you're if